Hi, I'm Nicole Lang, a Bearings Product Manager here in the Dry Tech Division. I'm here today to introduce you to our IGUS 3D print service, now available in North America. Rapid prototyping or 3D printing has revolutionized the world of product development. We're going to talk about what makes IGUS's 3D print service unique and what it really is. We'll talk a little bit about the materials and then we'll talk a little bit about the benefits and why engineers might find this service useful to them. And then we'll take a quick peek at our 3D print lab. So to start, let's talk about what our 3D print service is and what makes it special. IGUS is a full service provider for 3D print solutions. What that means is that we develop and engineer our own materials. These are meant to be used in applications where wear resistance is important. All of our materials are just like our iGlide materials. They're self-lubricating, maintenance-free, and they go through rigorous testing in our dry tech test lab. It's really important for us that engineers are able to use these products or these prototypes or small batch orders in any application that they wish. Our 3D print service allows engineers to easily upload a CAD model to an online tool. From there, it will give you a price for each of our three materials, which we're gonna talk about in just a moment. The lead time on these materials is two to three business days, and you can request a sample or place an order directly through the site. Now let's talk about each of the three SLS print materials that we have. The first is our I3. This is the most universal. It's the first one that we came out with, and it's extremely wear resistant. It's meant to be used in applications with gears, as well as it has passed burn and fog testing, so it's suitable for applications in automotive interiors. In addition to that, we have our I6 material. Our I6 material is white in color. It's really great for use with worm gears and it's abrasion resistant and robust. It just recently received FDA compliance. So it now meets FDA and EU compliance for applications where food is present. And last but certainly not least, our latest addition to our SLS powder materials is our I8. Our I8 is black in color and it offers ESD protection. Now why might engineers find our 3D print service useful? Sometimes the first scenario is that they have a part that's early stages of product development, and it's going to be going through quite a few design iterations and changes. Because of that, a customer might not be ready to invest in a setup or injection molding, and they might not be able to wait for the parts to come in. It's important that engineers have this product that they can actually test and utilize in their application. We have other customers who need custom parts, but for 500 pieces per year, or maybe 1,000 pieces, or maybe even 20. And in order to do that, it's important for us to be able to provide a quick solution, but again, with a wear resistant material for them. The nice thing about our 3D print service also is that it's very easy to use and it has virtually no design limitations. So the biggest design limitations that we have is that it has to fit within the print bed of 170 by 220 by 320 millimeters and a minimum wall thickness of 0.7 millimeters. Other than that, there are no constraints. Engineers are able to use our online configuration tools if they don't quite have their design set in stone. And then from there, they can create their own parts, rollers, bearings, gears, and then upload it directly into our 3D print service. So, all that being said, should we take a peek inside? So you can see here, we have two SLS printers doing their jobs right now. The first one, this one over here, we received back in January. So in January 2020, we started with the first printer. And then in the fall, we brought on our second printer. Both of these operate. Traditionally, one is running our I3 material, the other one switches um, and will switch between I6 and I8. But really, the um, purpose of this is to get parts out as quickly as we possibly can. Behind me here, you can actually see this is where we do some of the mixing. So we mix our powders over here in this room, as well as we do unpacking. So once the print job comes out of the printer, we bring it over to that unpacking station where the loose powder is released from the block that comes out of the 3D printer essentially. And then the machine that you see there with the two holes for the arm is a bead blaster. So that removes any external burrs or any particles of powder. So if you have any questions or you'd like further details, I'm happy to provide those for you. So just feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.